Ellen Tierra here with Gypsy Fade Creations. Thanks for tuning in. Today begins the first official Halloween soap of the season and super excited about it. Nothing screams Halloween more to me than The Nightmare Before Christmas, a classic movie. And it's kind of Halloween and it's kind of Christmas and I don't know what you would consider that movie to be, but Halloween is where I'm going with that today. I'm going to take both of those concepts and I'm going to put them into a soap with the two favorite main characters from that movie, Jack Skeleton and Sally. Also what makes this stand out even more is this little jar right here. This was an $11 jar of glow-in-the-dark pigment from Nurture Soap. Pretty pricey, but it's fine because I'm going to be using it in all of these soaps. It says it's skin safe and it's a luminescent luminescent, I've had trouble with that word, zinc sulfide, because that is a mouthful. So, let's get started, let's make some glow-in-the-dark soap, let's make a nightmare for Christmas soap, let's go. <laughs> small loaf. I'm going to be making the three pound mold and it's going to have a high top on it and depending on how well this goes I'm going to go back and probably make another batch of it. I'm going to probably do this with a lot of my soaps for Halloween. I don't know how how many bars of each I want to do so I'm just starting with the small molds first and I have enough to make another batch if I need to. So I'm going to combine my lye water with my sodium lactate into my oils. There's some buttermilk powder in there and some kaolin clay. And I'm going to give that a whirl. And then I'll tell you a little bit about the first part of this design. Okay, so that is at a very light trace. The first part of the soap is going to it's going to be based around Jack, Jack Skeleton. He is one of the main characters in Nightmare Before Christmas, and he wears a black and white striped outfit. And that is what I want to go for on the bottom layer. It is going to be stripes, layers of black and of white. And I'm going to also add the glow in the dark powder in there. So first I'm going to start, I want to split this batch into two buckets. So as evenly as I can so that I have the even layers of black and of white. So let's see, a little bit more. Like that. I'm going to start with the white. I'm going to add the titanium dioxide into it. And then I'm going to add the glow-in-the-dark powder, which looks like this. It is very heavy, like when I picked it up, I didn't expect it to weigh that much. And it is really expensive for this little guy too. And I've not used it in cold process soap before. But I'm just going to add some to the white layer. And that is the only layer that's going to have the glow-in-the-dark powder in it. I'm going to give that a mix first. Alright, so the fragrance I picked out for this is called Harvest Moon. It's by Nature's Garden and Candles. I'm going to read the description to you for that. I thought Harvest Moon would smell like something totally different, but this is their version. It is... Uh, top notes of fresh pear, blueberries, and pineapple, followed by middle notes of juniper berries and eucalyptus, well-rounded with base notes of spruce, woods, Douglas fir, cedar, and white musk. That is a very interesting combination of scents, and I didn't think that something Harvest Moon would smell like. I was thinking like pumpkins and apples and maybe some berries, but it is a very pleasant scent. It has a little bit of sweet to it, like the pineapple and blueberry and pear. They add that sweet little touch to it, so that kind of reminds you of like a candy. And then the undertones of the fir and the pine and the eucalyptus kind of adds your your pine notes like a Christmas tree. So I thought a little bit of Halloween, a little bit of Christmas, and 
I like it a lot. It is a very, very yummy scent. Um, it also says that it can discolor. Well, they put pictures of what the soap looks like, or the fragrance looks like in cold process soap, and it had a little bit of a tan discolor to it. It also said there was no vanillin in it, so I was a little confused of like, so why does it discolor if there's no vanillin in it? I'm not quite sure what to do with that. <laughs> so I did um, try and counteract that with some vanilla color stabilizer, so we'll see how that goes. So that is about half of this is fragrance and half of this is vanilla color stabilizer. You just want to mix that together really well. I'm going to split this into my batter and then I'm going to come back and start pouring into different layers. So the first part of this I'm going to add white to. I'm just going to put in almost half of the white. Give that a little tap, get the air bubbles out. I'm then going to let this sit until I can pour the next layer on and this is firm enough to do so. And then while that is doing its thing, I'm going to work on the icing bit of this soap so the topping of it is going to reflect Sally. So she is the other main character in the Nightmare Before Christmas. She's kind of like a a, a rag doll look to her. She's got a lot of stitching to her and just piece like her dress is made out of patches of different cloths. So to kind of get the, the look of Sally onto the soap and just kind of put the two characters together, I'm going to focus on the color of her face or her skin is like this blue. And then I'm going to somehow, I haven't figured that part out yet, I want to put the stitching maybe in red because of her hair is red. So there's gonna be a stitching between the layer of the icing and then the bottom layer of Jack to kind of tie it on together. Off camera here, I have some in-beds that are Jack Skeleton faces. They also have some of the glow in the dark powder in them and then I have um, some activated charcoal I used to color in his eyeballs. So I'm going to get these icings recipe um, that I usually use. I'm not doing that in this one, but I'm going to just use some regular soap batter and mix that up and I'm going to set that to the side and let that thicken up until I can pipe it and then we'll continue with the layers of the bottom half. Alright, and so I'm going to add my fragrance to that and mix it in and then we'll let this sit off to the side. Alright, so for my next trick, I am going to pour in a layer of this black very carefully. I'll put the spatula down so that I can break the fall. And again, I'll pour about half of that in. Give that a tap. So I'm going for the straight layers. I'm not necessarily going to get even layers because I didn't measure each one of the layers out and split it into equally four parts, but that doesn't bother me. So I will let that part settle and then I will go in and add my white and then go back in and add my black. Might be a little too impatient on this part, but I'm going to try to pour in anyway. It's not bad. So I'm just gonna pour in the rest of the white. Alright, let's put our top on here. 
again. This icing is going to turn back to a blue. It is not going to stay this funky color. I am using a Wilton 8B. Again, I am not used to piping on these tiny three pound loaves anymore, so trying to get my dollops right here. Let's talk a little bit about Halloween. Bradley and I are spending Halloween, our first Halloween away, in a sense, because we are going on a cruise with my co-workers, and we do this every two to three years, and it fell on Halloween this year. Assuming that it is during Halloween that the cruise ship is going to be having Halloween things, like parties and prizes and contests. So my work, they want to come up with a theme of what everyone should dress up as so that we can still tell that we're all together. Like we are a group of people traveling together and we want to dress up in a sort of theme. And the theme is still kind of wide, like <laughs> famous people. That is never ending. Yet, I am having trouble coming up with a costume. So I think since Bradley and I are a couple, we should do like a famous couple. I can't think of anything that I wanna do, honestly. Um, I thought maybe Jack Skeleton and Sally or Lydia and Beetlejuice was an option. I really don't dress up for Halloween. I'll throw in a witch hat. I'll throw in some like striped stockings. I don't do much. I might throw on some fake eyelashes, but I don't go crazy with like makeups and props. So I don't want to. I don't want to have to be uncomfortable and worry about packing a lot of stuff or making a big mess, like makeup and hair. So if you guys have any ideas what Bradley and I should be for this Halloween theme of famous people slash famous couple, leave me some ideas because I am really struggling and I'm just kind of like, I'll, I'll eventually figure it out. Do I really care to think about it right now? No, I'll be that last minute person who's like, oh, we have to leave for this cruise next week and we still don't have a costume. <laughs> but then I think about like, hey, maybe we'll win something cool. That would be really neat. So let me guys know if you can come up with any famous couples that you think Brad and I could dress up as. Um, I think like someone at work was thinking Sunny and Cher for themselves. I don't know. I, I've tried getting on Pinterest and looking things up, but I just, I just don't think, I just can't think of anything that's like, yes, that is perfect for Brad and I. Alright, so I'm going to stick these Jack Skeletons on here. Let's see. Put them on this side. And they're a little heavy. I think I want to let the icing set up a little bit so that I'm not pushing it all around all over the place. It can't, it can't hold Jack. All right, now we can put Jack in. If I want it on the side, maybe. I don't want to cut off too much of his face. holographic glitter and I'll let this sit and I'm back to put the final touches on it whatever that may be still brainstorming that Alrighty then. <laughs> all right let's cut a few of these and see what it looks like Is 
said? Like creep, creepy or what? Like spooky? Definitely spooky. Nightmare Before Christmas looking. It's not done yet. Mm -hmm. Still got one more thing to do to it. Which is put the little stitching on there. Maybe some red. Yeah, some red Stitch. stitching. It's going to be great. So what are some of the ideas that Sierra's come up with? come up with for Halloween costumes for Bradley and I. <clears throat> Judging by the text message this morning, it's, <laughs> it is uh, Beetlejuice and I think her name is Penelope, right? No, it's Lydia. Lydia, yeah, yeah. Why? Penelope. That, that was one of them. Then there's like Gomez and Morticia Adams. Gorma, yeah. And then there was Sally and Jack's skeleton. S yes. I like the Wayne and Garth. Wayne and Garth, yeah, from, yeah. From like Wayne's World. Yes. I thought that was cool. That is like, unique, yeah. Being a really big dork on that one. Mm -hmm. um, Luke and Han Solo. Of course. Another Not one. Luke and Han Solo. You mean Leia and Han Solo. Uh, yeah. Luke and <laughs> no, Han Solo. You're, no, you're going to be Luke and I'm going to be Han. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Leia and Han. Or trying, Luke and Han. I'm I was hey. trying not to say... Luke and Leia, and instead I got it wrong. Luke and Han, yeah. <laughs> anyway. I mean, you can go with Luke and Han, you know what I mean? Um, should we do... I don't know. If you guys have any other ideas, let us know, but that's kind of... Or you can be Han, and I can be Chewy. <gasps> no. <laughs> I'll just sweat to death, probably. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think, was there like any other ones that I sent you? Let me see my phone roll. I think there was one more unique one. You have to remind me when I get done like cutting these and putting the stitching on them to show what they look like when they glow in the dark in the end. Yeah, I definitely. will forget like that is the big reveal on the soap is that I'm using glow in the dark stuff and if I don't show it glow in the dark then it's kind of pointless. True. Uh, there was no more but yeah, I'm definitely pretty interested in doing the Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Of course, yeah. We've been talking about doing that for ages. Like years, yeah. yeah. Uh, I just I wasn't sure if you were in like all the makeup and I don't care. Yeah, we do it once a year. So alright. And now we're gonna be on a cruise doing it, so yeah. it's extra special. Alright, these pretty much all look the same. I'm I'm happy with the layers that they're like even and they're like the white and the black. Like It's perfect, yeah. yeah. Very even, yeah. And the and the blue turned out like like Sally's skin. That's mm -hmm. what I think in my opinion, that's the color of Sally's skin. And now they just put the red stitching on there, so we'll we will do that next. So out of all the things that went through my mind of what could I do to get the stitching on the soap from stamping to in beds, this is what I ended up with. I've just got some red, really red mica from Nurture Soap in some soap batter in a, in a piping bag and a little writing tip and I'm just going to pipe the stitching on each soap. So I thought red would go well because of Sally's hair so we've got her skin, we've got her hair, we've got Jack's outfit and his face and that my friends is my nightmare before Christmas so super happy with it. If you guys are interested in purchasing this soap, it will be available on October 20th. That is when most of the Halloween soaps you see are going to be released. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Stay tuned after the video for a fun shot of what this looks like when, when it's in the dark. It will glow in the dark. And until next time, guys, smell you later.